right okay so karyotype um so quite a large part of um especially male infertility is linked to some sort of genetic mutation um and as i was uh, as i was saying so if there is a karyotype depends on what your karyotype results are so it could be um very commonly that's seen as Klein-Felter's uh, syndrome, which is, which is XXY. So these, these males, uh, there will be some phenotypical so characteristic that we can look at and, and see as well. But then this, this, the, they can have severe oligospermia, that means very reduced number of sperm or no sperm in their ejaculate because the, actually the testicles do not develop well. And, and, and these um, kinds of male, uh, having karyotype of Klinefelters have a, a very low chance for I know there, there has been cases where we've had um, we've used sperm from the testicles um, of a Klinefelter male where the chances become very 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 low um, and if we find um, Y chromosome deletions uh, then again the chances become very very low of having offspring using their own sperm. If we're looking at um, karyotypes of female where we've got um, what we call as Turner syndrome, X, oh, where there's, there's a lack of one of the X chromosomes, um, uh, th they again will have you know, the, the, the ovaries and the genitalia, they're not developed very well. And then therefore the production of X is not normal and the chances of having child of using their own um, eggs become very very low but then we can have um, if we test for this is not right really karyotype but if we are or like, let's say yes karyotype when we do we can get something like structural rearrangements translocations inversions uh, micro deletions so things like translocation, very common translocation is Robertsonian translocation, where there is a little part of chromosome goes and attaches to other, and, and then they just swap places. Are, these are called balanced uh, translocation. So the individual can be absolutely normal and living a normal life, but then can have, um, then produce gametes, which, which will not produce a normal embryo. And these cases we can, we can do the testing of the embryo, what we call as uh, PGTSR, so prenatal genetic testing for structural rearrangements of, uh, of the embryos, select a normal embryo and put it back to give a very good chance of success to this, these type of couples. Um, there are um, other single gene disorders that we find out. Um, when, they, when we do the chromosomal testings. And these disorder, the, the, these kind of disorder, again, can be, um, well, we can do prenatal genetic testing for um, disorders like this, select a normal embryo, and then put the normal embryo back. So there are certain, certain things that we can, the, the science is advanced enough or we've got provision and we've got testing that we can do. Um, the gene pool, if we're not talking about karyotype, but it's chromosomes. There are two types. There is genetic issues where there is gene mutations and then there is chromosomal issue. Chromosome is like XO when there's whole chromosome missing or XYY when there's an extra chromosome or then there is mutations like gene mutations. The gene pool is so vast and I know we've got now genomic testing and we are able to, but still we would not do kind of genomic testing for everyone. Um, and a lot of um, uh, uh, issues when we are seeing premature ovarian failure or uh, not enough production of sperm are now being linked to these gene mutations. Um, ho hopefully, in future, we will have treatment and things for everything. We are doing very well. We've got solution for a lot of them, but not for everything at the moment. I mean, there are only there are twenty three what twenty three hundred genes 
that are uh, expressed just for production of semen. So 